Greetings Virgo and thank you so much for tuning into this reading. I hope that all is well with you. Today we're going to be looking into the cards, how your person currently feels, how they see you and other important messages. Cross watchers, keep in mind that the roles can also be vice versa, depending on your given situation. I also encourage for you to check your other signs for additional messages. Happy, happy birthday to all my Virgos out there. I wish you all the best. I hope this season is going to shower you with many blessings and opportunities. So let's begin. Spirit angels, we ask for insights and guidance for Virgo. How do they truly feel towards Virgo at this time? What does Virgo need to know about this person that they're currently dealing with? Starting with the hangman. Somebody's feeling suspended at this time, unable to take action. They're feeling stuck here. But in this image, you see the man is actually holding the key, the key to unlock himself from this limbo state. So somebody has been very passive, but they know that it's up to them or the pressure is gonna fall in their hands to make the change and take the necessary steps. Knight of Pentacles energy. You may also be holding yourself back here, Virgo, from extending yourself or doing so much, putting so much energy into this. The hangman can be seen as a card of sacrifice, being overly sacrificial. I see that you are seeking more stability and balance right now in your efforts. You may have realized that you've done your part here and it is up to this person to step up. Let me pull more cards out. Eight of Swords, Energy, and the Judgment card. Okay, this person here wants to reach out. They want to apologize to you, Virgo, with the Judgment, asking for a second chance on your relationship, on your connection. But they first need to take a moment to process here whatever fear, doubt that has been plaguing their mind. Something has been clouding this person's mind. So there could be a need for enlightenment before movement is going to happen here. The Eight of Swords may be a feeling of helplessness, a mindset that they need to change, let go of self-doubt, self-fear. If there was something that this person has done in the past, I'm getting that there might be some feelings of guilt or shame that's keeping this person in bondage of some sort, trapped with the Eight of Swords energy. And unless they seek out this forgiveness, like there's a shadow that's casting over their head, and they know that the only way for real liberation to happen is to face you or finally come, come clean with something here, Virgo. You see, the hangman traditionally can speak of a traitor, right? Somebody may have betrayed you in one way, shape, or form. You're also in the process of unstocking yourself here, Virgo. Because I see the judgment card as marching to the beat of your own drummer. There's a feeling of liberation and freedom from initially being in the hangman position looking at things in a different way now. The judgment card is answering to your soul's calling here. Let me pull more cards out. We have the hermit. So when the hermit shows up, it's like there's a feeling of needing space and needing time for yourself. You may have taken a step back from this person to look at things in a different angle and perspective. Six of Pentacles energy. Again, the theme of giving and receiving keeps coming back up. It feels like it is this person that needs to step up. And unless you pull yourself back, you're not going to be able to really see this person prove themselves. It's only when you be in the energy of stillness that you can really assess how much this person is willing to do. Getting out of their way to meet you. Let's see, because there's a feeling of being breadcrumb here with Six of Pentacles. I'm also getting that the tables are starting to turn, Virgo. 
with the hangman initially you have been the one outpouring your energy here but now that you're focused on you see the witch is happily going in this direction and this is a sense of moving forward no longer stuck i i keep feeling like this person is the one like they sense you're not paying much attention to them anymore um, your attention is somewhere else or around other people this person also finds you difficult to reach like you probably cut off communication as well with hermit and the queen of swords they feel like you're ignoring them or you're not overextending yourself anymore you have created some kind of boundary from this individual that's the six of pentacles like you know when to give and you know when to pull yourself back you've learned so much from what you dealt with in the past year also, this card speaks about refusing to see oneself as a victim of a situation, rather learning the lesson. And judgment talks about difficult lessons that emerge out of difficult situation. And the Queen of Swords is very intellectual, very sharp, putting emotions on the side and looking at things objectively. You may have taken a closer look on the giving and receiving aspect of this connection. Who reciprocates okay let me just pull more cards out here to see how this person is feeling the emperor so somebody realized that they were indeed holding themselves back here they may have even ghosted you for some time Virgo and that's why they're, they have a plan to come back around ask for your forgiveness or ask for a second chance but you're putting your foot down on the situation with Queen of Swords and the Emperor the Emperor is Divine Masculine, is a very protective energy. You're open for forgiveness is what I'm seeing though. But it's all going to depend on the efforts this person is going to make. Six of Pentacles. Um, again, there's a feeling of I've done everything that I could. I've made sacrifices in the past and it's not up to this person. Eight of Swords can be seen as a feeling of helplessness, right? There could be a sense of, you know, them having to muster the courage to finally face you. They have been denying something. They have been so afraid of facing you for fear of being shunned away. It could probably be because they ghosted you in the past. Okay, let me see. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Somebody is wishing, hoping, and trying to manifest something to happen. The Nine of Cups is a card of wishes okay but it's saying here instead of being passive about this they really need to take action now otherwise the opportunity might pass them by um, because you're already taking steps of moving on moving forward some of you may have felt like i've waited long enough for this person could be a feeling of ultimatum as well virgo like you're giving them an ultimatum calling them out for this behavior of ghosting you not talking for you for to you for days or breadcrumbing whatever the case may be you might be dealing with a lot older individual as well emperor and the queen of swords they're operating more with logic here some of you found this person difficult to emotionally connect and you wanted nothing else but for this person to meet your emotional needs halfway okay but they do have a plan of reconciling here. They want to reconnect. They want to reach out. They're just waiting for the right moment. Let's see. We're going to clarify the messages here, Virgo. Ten of Wands. So the theme of somebody feeling like it's a one-sided situation in the beginning. Nine of Cups is a very independent number. There is so much self-love and awareness of your true worth here now, Virgo. And you could be reflecting and looking back on everything that you've done for this person. And the burden that has been on your shoulder with Ten of Wands. I'm getting that you are telling this person, I need to now prioritize me. I need to focus on myself too. I need to love myself. Focus on what I need to do for my personal goals. Let's see. Some of you are working with this person or same profession, same field. There's a feeling of awkwardness here. They're awkward. You know, they don't know how to face you, to initiate conversation with you. 
They sense that you're ignoring them or that you're talking to other people but them. I feel like you're not trying to play games at all. Virgo, this is just you truly focusing on being professional around them or focusing on your own happiness and joy. See, the woman's eyes here are closed, so you're choosing not to see. But it's them, their mind here is filled with overthinking things. Like they, they, they feel like you are ignoring them, okay? And they feel the awkwardness because they don't know how to break this no communication between you both. I feel like this is all about what they're willing to sacrifice to make this right. If there is some kind of pride and ego getting in the way or fear of being rejected if they initiate something first, they need to break this awkwardness. The Three of Swords. So you definitely took the time to heal from whatever misunderstanding, pain, suffering this whole situation brought to you. The Three of Swords can also mean that you don't want to be hurt again. The Strength card. This person is truly going to ask for your forgiveness. I keep getting that. The Emperor showed up twice. All right, so the Emperor here is showing up because you want to see results. You want to see outcome. It's like the energy of ultimatum. I'm not afraid to call you out for what happened. I'm going to tell the truth in directly to you so that you're aware how this situation has been painful for me. You're now having the courage and strength to speak up on things that you may have bottled. Now that they're resurfacing around and reaching out to you after ghosting you, the emperor is also saying you're not going to make it easy for them to just come in your life, in and out of your life. You want discipline and structure. Some of you are already looking for something long term. It's either you're waiting for the right person to come in or unless this person steps up. You're going to be focused on you being single, working on yourself, your goals, career, work, and business. Three of Wands is waiting, waiting for the right one. This card also means that they're waiting for the right moment to talk to you and approach you again. Um, it's the feeling of they know that they weren't there for you. They, this person is now hurting because they hurt you, Virgo. They know that they pushed you away with their actions or that they made you wait with the Three of Wands energy. The Seven of Wands. There's some jealousy going on here. If you're already entertaining somebody new or that's how they perceive it, okay? They perceive there's competition, that there might be somebody else coming in. And yes, I feel like with Devil, you may not know this, but they're obsessing about you. They're thinking about you constantly. They can't help but think that the reason why you're ignoring them, Virgo, is probably with Seven of Wands. Um, you're creating walls, you're blocking them, or that there's competition. And they're f they can't help how they feel, is what I'm getting with the devil. The devil is something we suppress. The devil is something that we're afraid of letting others know. So it could be that this person may not be appearing quite affected on the outside, but deep down with the devil and the Seven of Wands, there's this jealousy, controlling feeling. They're very, very consumed about these feelings that they have. They're not able to express this. They're very passive, but there's so much feelings they have deep down, okay? The Six of Wands energy. The Six of Wands can be seen as a card of victory, success, or it's an it's a energy of not wanting to be seen in, a, in some type of way. Like somebody does not want to show vulnerability. They also care too much on how they are perceived by you and perceived by others. Again, some kind of pride could be getting in the way. This might be a, a, some kind of a negative thinking of, I don't want to appear desperate or I don't want to appear like I'm chasing Virgo. But deep down, they really want to, I don't know, it feels like because you're not paying that much attention anymore, Virgo, you have so much going on in your life. They see that you're changing, you're outgrowing things, and you're opening up to new connections. They don't want to show like they're defeated or they're feeling affected by this, but they are. The Three of Swords comes after the Two of Swords, and the Two of Swords is a choice. This is often the buyer's remorse, you know, a, a choice they made in the past, 
is now coming back to haunt them. But this is not, not all about blaming oneself. It's about how or what are the next steps they're willing to take to change this. Instead of ruminating over what already transpired, how can one take action and step into their resilience? Because it's never too late to turn things around, okay? It's not weakness to ask for forgiveness, or it's not a sign of weakness to admit that there are some things that we've done. Um, I'm getting that somebody may not just want to show vulnerability right now. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles. You have two powerful nines in this reading. So because you're extremely moving on and, and succeeding in life right now, okay, you've been very abundant, you've been working on yourself, very self-sufficient energy. They find you very irresistible here, Virgo. There's this feeling of I can't let go or why can't I stop thinking about Virgo? Let's pull some lover's oracle cards here. There might have been some things that this person said to you in the past that was extremely painful. And words are words, but they do carry energy. This is something that when said, one cannot just easily take back, you know. It's like they made things awkward here by saying those things or by um, ghosting you. Sexual union, honor the place in one another where you are one internal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So either you're walking away here, Virgo, because you want a deeper connection. You're not going to just settle down for half-baked efforts or somebody to, be, to breadcrumb you. You recognize there is chemistry here, sexual and physical chemistry, but like I said, you want something deeper. The devil can mean temptation. You're fighting off the temptation. This person could be trying to grab your attention once again. Let's see. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So you definitely have genuine feelings for this person, Virgo. But you also realize what you're looking for and you're not going to settle down for anything less, okay? This is all about boundaries. If you sense that somebody could be taking advantage of your kindness of you giving so much chances in the past, it's knowing when to protect your energy so that this person won't get the wrong idea as well, that you're very submissive and they can be the one dominant here with the emperor and the devil, very dominating energy. That's what I'm picking up from your reading. I hope that this gave you some insight and guidance. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Take only what resonates and leave out what doesn't. Take care at this time and namaste.